Hello and welcome to uh, the demonstration of beamforming with smart antenna. Basically, smart antenna is a group of antenna arrays, and they understand that they can receive signal from all the directions, and they can train themselves to receive the signal over a main band, band, no matter from whichever direction the signal is coming. So we are assuming a set of smart antennas over here. Uh, the sensor is 8, transmission angle, we have assumed a transmission angle. This is using two techniques, comparison of two techniques, CLMS and SELMS. Both are variants of uh, LMS algorithm, but uh, they are adaptive technique. Uh, where CLMS is a variation, I mean SELMS is a variation of CLMS by including uh, uh, no adaptive layer whereas uh, complex LMS is uh, uh, a feedback based uh, LMS technique so once we do uh, a smart antenna with uh, C LMS this is the signal that was transmitted obviously uh, because of many number of users the receiver receives the signal with a lot of noise and you can see a lot of variations are there in the received signal the main lobe is there but side lobes are quite prominent the role of the smart antenna is to suppress the side lobes significantly uh, such that the main lobe remains so it gets a smart antenna <coughs> uh, with the main lobe remains and we have transmitted over different frequencies in order to show that the performance of the antenna is almost uh, consistent over different frequencies the same thing that uh, when we perform with AC LMS the performance is little better uh, you know uh, the main branch however it still has a significant side load now if you keep increasing the number of sensors so if we go with CLMS it will be a bit more uh, pointed AC LMS it will be a bit more pointed the noise will be reduced go with 32 when we use CLMS based antenna it will be far more pointed uh, and number of I mean the uh, uh, noise factor will be uh, reduced by a great deal as you can see noise is reduced by a great deal and same thing with AC LMS the transmission will be smoother and the noise something like 64 or higher this is much more uh, sharp and this one will be much more sharp and the uh, noise will keep getting reduced and one more thing that you can see directly from the signal is that uh, the noise uh, susceptibility of the uh, ACLMS method is much better than the CLMS method so ACLMS is better suited technique uh, for antenna and uh, if you can change or vary the uh, transmission angle the variation of transmission angle doesn't cause too much of a difference in the performance of the smart antenna because the smart antennas can receive the signal from different directions whereas if you change the learning rate when you change the learning rate the signal is received with uh, different uh, amplitude however still the variations will be a bit uh, more minimum so as your learning rate uh, keeps increasing the smart antenna keeps performing better the noise gets reduced to get uh, much sharper peak all right we are going to now uh, show the performance of lms based uh, smart antenna you saw the case of clms and SELMS, which are adaptive you know now if i form a lms based smart antenna if this were the spectrum which had got uh, transmitted then this was the signal that has got transmitted and uh, if this was the noise signal what you receive is this one the signal that you receive is this as you can see that uh, you know it has picked up a noise signal and uh, at the time of receiver also this noise signal still exists uh, but uh, 
you know the responsibility of this smart antenna is to suppress the signal over here such that you get a noise free signaling which is uh, just like uh, this one so let us now uh, check it out with the uh, LMS performance I mean if we are using it without uh, LMS you can see this receiver along with the variations of the uh, jamming signal this receive signal will vary you can compare the transmitted and the receive signal which is got which is varying a great deal so if you're not using any LMS equalizer under that situation this deviation will be quite high even if you use a smart antenna so it needs to be reduced uh, this variations you know whatever signal you are transmitting in the presence of jamming signal gets changed so receiver should be really able to suppress this jamming signal that's what uh, our objective uh, would be to use LMS and to train the system in such a way that this jamming signal gets reduced and this is the performance of the system without uh, LMS as you can see that uh, it has got quite significant side loops though it has got a main loop that uh, represents the gain on the transmitted signal but it still has got significant side loops and if you use the LMS performance what you'd be able to see is that uh, you know in this case the uh, secondary signal is very minimum it could be reduced and it's so low you can see that it's uh, been able to receive whatever has been transmitted and in the presence of jamming signal even though new signal it's got uh, had uh, crept in it still will be able to you know receive it suppressing a very major jamming signal even though it becomes higher at certain level LMS equalization process after training through certain uh, samples will be able to see it increases however LMS uh, by estimating what could be the signal reduces it uh, significantly So when you see the performance of LMS at around different bands, first thing, for different frequencies, it can have a different envelope. It has got a uh, higher main loop and uh, so every frequency is uh, separable. It has got a uh, high main loop and very low side lobes uh, in the case of, uh, <coughs> you know, which are um, less than one in the case of uh, uh, LMS based technique so uh, so uh, suppressed uh, side lobes is uh, what uh, represents the characteristics of LMS based technique the next type of beam format that we analyze here is NVIDIA based beam forming uh, it's a eigenvalue based technique where the prediction say in the case of LMS the prediction is in the time domain in the case of AC LMS and CLMS they are also in the time domain however they are adaptive filtering where a feedback uh, exists from the sensor to the uh, from the sensor uh, till the antenna and in the case of MPDR it tries to find out the uh, highest eigenvalues in the transmission and tries to adjust the signal accordingly so uh, if you say NVIDIA, this is how uh, NVIDIA's amplitude response is. Uh, it has got significantly more than uh, one uh, main main load. Uh, so, if we call for a beamformer with Kappa and NVIDIA, <coughs> we see that. Uh, this has been suppressed by a single main lobe and significantly low side lobes and uh, kappa is basically nothing but uh, extra constant which is introduced in the eigenvalues that could be changed so it makes the eigenvalue method more adaptive through this so when we use uh, uh, kappa when we introduce kappa basically uh, the number of side lobes is reduced to a great deal and uh, when you actually increase the uh, number of sensors you can see there is a certain 
difference between what you expect and what you get this is uh, specifically because uh, no number of components uh, uh, makes it quite difficult for the eigenvalue analysis so when your number of components is less it uh, performs better but as your number of components antenna arrays keep on increased under that situation eigenvalue gives you misleading values which makes uh, the uh, beamform of performance quite low so uh, mpdr is a technique that is quite well suited when you want to use less number of antennas it can give you a very solid noise free uh, main band when uh, uh, you know uh, the number of uh, uh, this thing is uh, very low so in we also have one more module <coughs> that helps us analyze the uh, performance of smart antenna with uh, uh, windowing techniques uh, this is one of the methods of filtering so here we do not estimate any main band brand rather we try to implement a filter that filters out the extra bands of signal that the antenna array has detected and we can use a hamming window with different window parameter a caser window with different parameter and a hamming window what we get to identify is that the performance of hamming and hamming window is a bit better than in comparison to the uh, caser window by changing the window parameter say from 0.5 to 0.5 I'll change it if I use hamming window and hamming window there will be more variations over here more side loops and if I change the parameter to say 9 this represents the cut off frequency really Now, in scene of 32 antenna elements, if we use 8 antenna elements, check out the performance of this one. So you see the main lobe is a bit more spread over here, which means that when you have less number of antenna elements, it gets difficult for window based technique to produce a sharp main band, sharp main um, print. And, uh, more so both hamming and hanging window fails uh, when the number of antenna array elements are bit lower however caser window performs relatively better under low antenna elements and if we increase the number of antenna elements you get a sharp and very high main low for hamming window and very sharp and high uh, main low uh, for uh, hanging window however the one thing that is interesting is in hanging window the side lobes are lesser but they are significant the main lobe is less uh, sharper so that means many uh, signal that is not a single central frequency that it would be able to produce a high gain many signals that uh, it acquires for a high gain now one of the properties of the smart antenna should be that you should get something like a pencil beam or uh, you should be able to get a main peak which represents how easily the antenna has been able to identify the main signal from the rest of the signal so the sharper it is the better the antenna is able to track the frequency hope you've enjoyed the uh, demonstration of smart antennas you can use different modules, different number of antenna elements, uh, MVDR based, LMS based, CLMS, CLMS based antennas to uh, analyze the performance of main lobes and the side lobes that you want uh, with different jamming angles, with different learning parameters to see which one is suited. Uh, thanks for watching.